Hello, my friends. Today I'm hoping to get some cells. I'm going to do um, flip cups on this large canvas. It's a 20 by 20. I'm using a glue and water mix. I'll put the details below in the description box. I'm using all Art Minds paints. They were on sale or clearance. 32 ounces for $10, so quite a deal. And I only used three ounces of paint to three ounces of my glue water mix. Most of them were fine coming right out of the jar of paint. Um, a couple of them, though, I did have to add water, quite a bit of water. And I think this um, sea glass was one of them where I added quite a bit of water. Antique aqua, which is kind of unusual. It's not just a little darker version of the same color. I don't think I added any water. Gold. Um, they're all art mines with the exception of the white, which is just artist loft. And then this is a combination of just some tubes that were nearly out. Um, thalo blue, ultramarine blue, and thalo green. And got, came up with this beautiful deep teal color. Just gorgeous. And then the brown is metallic brown. That was umber. Also art mines, but in this little jar. And it's got a shimmer to it, which is lovely. And this is metallic gold. So that's, there we go. I added silicone to the blues, only the aqua, sea glass, antique, turquoise, and the teal I mixed. So here we go. I'm going to do five flip cups, I think, on this large canvas. Just kind of move them around. I'm going to add the paint to the cups kind of um, in this order. I don't, it doesn't really matter in the flip cup. And I'm going to pour kind of from on high to mix them up a little bit. I, um, that's okay too. And in the middle, I might kind of layer just for fun to see if I can see a difference. So pouring from, I'm going to give a quick stir to the ones I added silicone to. I mean, I already stirred it up considerably, but I'm stirring it some more. Okay, and I'm going to pour from up high a little bit. Gold. Antique Aqua, I think it's called, not turquoise. Kind of a patina look. Now this beautiful teal. And umber. I don't use silicone a lot, but once in a while it just it's just fun to do. And I've haven't done a large one with cells in a in a very long time. Oh, that's pretty in there. Um, I think I'll do a, a little layer of layering, and then the final layer I will again pour from up on high. Well, that's the end of my white.
so maybe I won't be able to do that. I don't know. I have a lot of some of these colors. Feel free to fast forward through this. I'm not going to No, um, my feelings won't be hurt. I would. Okay, and that's, that's done. Oh, the color is so pretty. That's the end of that one as well. And umber. <laughs> I'm so clumsy sometimes. Okay, and now I'll top this off with Kind of even out the cups with what I have left here. And some gold. Okay. That's a lot of paint. I hope I like what I come up with. <laughs> So, here we go. Whoa, that wasn't very well done. But it's pretty. Oh, golly, that is pretty. Oh, yeah. That is pretty there. I hope, hope I can save some of it. Okay. You know, I have some paint from the other day. I'm not sure what's in here. I think it's Low trawl. I don't know. I'm going to put just some around the edges. I, I don't think it can hurt. I hope. I think it was Floetrol and um, Art Mines Pearl because it looks a little pearlescent to me. And um, I may have thrown some Rust Oleum milk paint in there. I'm experimenting with that to try to come up with cells and um, not had any luck yet. Okay, let's. Hope I didn't ruin the whole thing by doing that, but okay, here we go. I 
just covered up that beautiful part I was talking about, but that's okay. Isn't it funny how the the brown the umber just disappears? Well, there it is. Maybe there was more in that one. This is a very inexpensive canvas, and I can see it. Um, what am I trying to say? Doing this in the center. That's not good. But I'll be tilting right now and hopefully get that density of paint out of the center there. Yeah, I'm going to tilt first and then I'll hit it with a uh, torch. I didn't think about um, supporting the center with anything because it's not that big of a canvas, but it is an inexpensive one. Well, so far I don't like it. <laughs> but perhaps when I hit it with a torch, It's just there's way too much paint on here. I've got to run a lot of it off. I finally remembered to put my um, the pads under here shiny side up so I can scrape up that excess paint and use it again. Okay, let me. Um, do some torching. See if I can make this more more better. I don't like it right now. Funny, it's not at all what I envisioned would happen, but it seemed very, very liquid to me. Which is weird. It didn't they didn't seem thick in the cup. I mean thin in the cup, but alright, well I'm liking it better. I'm getting some good cell action. I like the size of these cells. I, I'm going to move it around a little bit more to get rid of some areas I don't care for, but um, I really like the size and shape of those. Let's 
but I don't care. Probably let's bring up some more cells. I, I want to have some negative space. I'm not wanting, um, you know, just solid cells, but I like it, a variety of cells. This is pretty with a kind of liney thing going on behind the cells there. This is pretty up here, and I like those cute little ones. Uh, this is not doing much for me here. I don't care for that. Mm hmm it's not bad let's see um i like the dark brown that showed up there i want to preserve that i'm just going to move this over slightly i think maybe you know i i am going to move it a little bit There's way too much paint on the surface. I'll have to do that, and I'll bring it, bring it back to. And I'm, I'm really changing up the um, shape of the cells here. Look at that, but I'm kind of liking that. Yeah, I'm going to run them off there. <laughs> I just was afraid to run short of paint, and I mixed, I used way too much. That's my biggest challenge, I will admit, is knowing how much, you know, there's so many different formulas, and I'm just not sure. You know what? I, I kind of like this. Hmm. I'm going to bring you in for a closer look. I'm not going to add anything to it, I don't think. I'm not going to hit it with a hairdryer or a balloon or anything. I think I'm going to leave it alone. I, I, I kind of like all of the movement that's happening here and, and the different cell shapes. I'm sorry, let me, let me show you what I'm looking at up close. <laughs> I like the variety of cell shapes. I added one, sorry about the light, let's see. I added one drop of silicone per ounce in three of the six colors. <laughs> that was plenty, I probably could have done less. I think I like it. I 
kind of like it from uh, with this being the bottom. But I don't know. I haven't looked at it from all the different orientations. But uh, you could call it all roads lead to Rome, right? <laughs> okay, folks. There's my attempt at cells on a large canvas. Let me know what you think. See you next time.